Okay, here's a little power tip for quick folders users. Um, if you want to uh, achieve different looks for your tabs, so it's kind of a cosmetic one, but there are those who are interested in this. So you can go to your options again, quick folders options. Always use the blue cogwheel. Uh, another quick way is just right clicking anywhere in the free area of the toolbar. And the third option is you can use the cogwheel here, just normal click. Okay, um, in either which way you come to this tabbed dialogs. And there's lots of uh, settings here, but the one that's cosmetic is basically this one with the, with the guy with the shades, bling my tabs. And you get to choose uh, between different color choices. Now we have uh, different palettes, uh, palettes, and we also have uh, different uh, styles of um, filling with color. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to select a palette. So the palette means you get a choice of 20 different colors that you can choose for each of the tabs and for tab states like hovering over a tab and dragging email into it. So for instance, hovering could be orange. Uh, the standard palette is rather colorful. It doesn't fit on screen fully here. Um, okay, but um, we can instead tone it down and get pastel colors. They're a bit more um, reduced, let's say active pink for instance and then there's also a night vision one for people who have like you like dark um, looking themes dark looking um, windows or whatever <coughs> or people who have uh, difficulty seeing they can they can uh, choose something like this okay I'm gonna go with the pastel for the moment okay so we got the active tab color that's the tab color of the inbox the, uh, the the tab color of the um, currently selected folder. And then we have palette for individually colored tabs. So I can go with pasta with there. And then we got uncolored tabs. And we can also, the uncolored tabs are basically all default tabs, like here, sent, drafts, trash. They are currently in two color mode. So it's just a plain white background and plain black. Um, um, writing. I could change that. I could say, okay, make that blue. And you see it's blue, uh, blue on yellow, something really awful. Okay. Or I can go, okay, give me um, also a palette. So let's go back to that pastel colors again and make it, okay, make it sky, let's say, sky blue. Okay, I don't like that. Let's go with, let's go with light gray. Okay. Okay, let's say I want white writing on top of that gray gradient. Okay, go with that for the moment. And the active tab color, okay, in that case, let's make that stand out. Go for the standard palette, go for red, bang. You can see the little red line as well. Okay, and then hovered color is orange. So when I'm over, it's orange. And drag co co over color is yellow. Let's say yellow with red writing, for instance. Now what's a drag over color? Let's look at this. That's when I drag email over. Okay. So now, what else can I do here? Let's go back to bling my tab. So there's this style, fit style, and then there's this striped style. And the striped style basically doesn't fill the whole color. It just puts a stripe on top of this um, default color. So. I could say, okay, let's make this, let's go back to white, black writing. And then I can achieve a lot of different coloring styles. Okay, but um, I want to keep it easy, so I use this. And yeah, I think that's good for now. And what else can I do? I can um, do something to the radius of the the rounding of the tabs so I can make them look differently within certain bounds. You can have them upside down or whatever. And then um, if I don't like that at all, I can also go for a completely different look, which is this one's called Apple Pills. It's kind of more um, conducive to a style that you'd have on a Mac. 
Um, so you can see it kind of simulates the style of a Mac. And then we have native tabs, which are kind of the built-in tabs of your Windows theme. I don't like them so much because you you have not you don't have as much uh, customizability as you can see no color choices and then there is the buttons which are just push buttons and then there is toolbar buttons which is but your default toolbar buttons and that's determined by whatever theme thunderbird is currently wearing i usually use flat style because i have the most configurability custom but uh, most most opportunities to customize so let's go with that okay and that's about what i wanted to show you for today and one more thing is that if you if you have a custom tab and it's let's say green then your current um, folder toolbar will show that color and um, when the um, tab is selected and also you note that uh, if you have a custom icon that that will be shown here and in thunderbird it will also be shown here on the um, on the folder tree and if i have a folder that doesn't have a tab i can even customize the icon there and say okay just just get an icon there so that way i could find um, uh, some obscure folder or see it um, very quickly in the folder tree but as i said before um, the folder tree is probably something that um, you will find you um, use less and less i can delete that i can remove that icon again with either with the context menu or with this command so it's back to the default okay and so much about customization with quick folders i hope this was helpful for you thanks for watching